Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, January 2nd. The design of the Tesla Semi Battery Pack has leaked, and it reveals how Tesla has fit a battery roughly the size of 900 kilowatt hours into the truck. At the first delivery event, Tesla was fairly quiet on the specs and details and design, but now, thanks to a hacker known as Green, we get our first look at the Semi Battery design and some other important components. The images appear to be from the parts catalog for the Semi. It seems to feature large modules of two different sizes, singling out the components inside the battery pack. It also confirms that the Semi battery is located underneath the cabin in the base of the vehicle. This is actually a pretty good tidbit of information, but there are other unanswered questions about the Semi. For example, we're not sure which cell Tesla is using inside the truck. It was believed to be the automaker's own 4680 cells, but at one point Elon Musk had indicated that that wouldn't necessarily be the case. Tesla has announced that it will hold a new Investor Day on March 1st, 2023. This is where they will discuss a new vehicle platform. Over the last few years, Tesla has started to hold regular events such as Battery Day and AI Day to give updates on their most important programs and also recruit talent. But now we've learned that Tesla has a new quasi-holiday in their calendar. The automaker says that it will be held at Gigafactory, Texas, and that the event will include a tour of the factory. Tesla also stated that it would discuss long-term expansion plans and its Generation 3 platform. Musk has previously mentioned that Tesla's new vehicle platform would be a cheaper EV. Finally, Tesla also added that it would talk about capital allocation during the event. It could include the stock buyback program that Musk had mentioned while discussing an investor call back in October. Tesla has announced that it has delivered 405,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter of 2022. It sets a new record and it means that over 1.3 million EVs were delivered in the calendar year. It's a 40% increase year over year. This is thanks to the production ramp at Gigafactory Texas and Berlin, as well as continued improvements at the Fremont factory and Gigafactory Shanghai. Previously, there were some concerns for delivery numbers as Tesla appeared to be facing demand problems when they started to offer discounts back in December, but apparently they pulled through. Wall Street expectations had pegged Tesla for 400 to 430,000 vehicles delivered, and they definitely hit that range, but admittedly on the lower end. Nevertheless, Tesla steamrolls every other automaker in EV deliveries, and investment in production has no signs of slowing down. Tesla is apparently preparing to launch a cheaper version of the Model Y, according to an update to the online configurator. At one point, Tesla actually briefly offered a cheaper Model Y in North America in 2021, but they removed the option, and Elon Musk said that he didn't like the shorter range. Tesla continued to sell a vehicle of that format in Europe and Asia. I guess China must be a small place. In North America, Tesla had exclusive availability for a similar vehicle to employees of a Model Y with the new 4680 cells built in Gigafactory, Texas. That vehicle carried the new battery pack, resulting in 279 miles of range. But now, several Tesla configurator code trackers are reporting that the automaker has added new configuration of the Model Y in the back end. It seems to match this Model Y all-wheel drive version with the 4680 cells that was sold to employees. The new Model Y is listed for $61,990. For now, the vehicle is only in the source code and can't be selected by buyers. The country of Norway hit a new record in the year of 2022, as nearly four out of five cars sold were electric. According to the latest registration data, Norway is well on its way to being the first nation to end gas-powered car sales by the year 2025. It's not hard to see how Norway got such a lead. Norway gave incentives such as free tolls, parking, tax exemptions, all of this to promote zero emission sales. On top of this, the country rolled out an extensive charging network with over 5,600 fast chargers. The Tesla Model Y was the most popular electric vehicle sold in the year with 17,356 units. This was followed by the Volkswagen ID4 and the Skoda Enyaq in third. Fourth through 10th place were actually pretty similar selling between 6,100 and 4,200 units, respectively. In today's community comment found on YouTube, in the last installment I showed a clip of a stunt rider pedaling some 300 feet in the air on top of a currently commissioned, although shut down, wind turbine. And in response to this, Jorg asks, quote, This guy on a blade with his bike drives me crazy. 
How nuts must one be to do that? Is that real event or just CGI? Well, Jorg, as far as I can tell, the clip is real and was done with a phenomenally talented trick and stunt writer named Danny McAskill. This fellow is far more nimble and precise on bicycle wheels than I am using my own feet. I'll show you another trick. This one blew my mind. Here is Danny riding on top of a rolling hay bale on a bicycle. It looks like the most unrealistic CGI nonsense that I've ever seen, but it turns out it was the result of incredible skill and determination. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.